So Paul Saladino says that method in blue can actually decrease energy production in healthy mitochondria. And I'm going to explain in this video why he's both right and wrong about this and why I, as a relatively healthy older person, am using method in blue regularly at a low dose. Now, first, let me say that I think Paul's absolutely amazing. He's obviously super smart, very well read, and I love his philosophy on, on, on health and healthcare. Also, his animal-based diet is quite amazing, and I actually incorporate a lot of the elements that he's promoting into my diet, except for raw milk. And that's because I grew up on a farm, and our neighbor actually uh, had cows. And once in a while, I would go over there, and we were allowed to milk the cows. Now, they had milking machines, of course, but sometimes you had to milk the cows by hand. And these cows, they stand in a mix of mud and poop all day long, and as they are moving about, you know, that stuff splashes on their udders, and then they just take a garden hose and <laughs> rinse that off and then put the milking machine on, or we milk them by hand. Now, you got this bucket afterwards with this beautiful, creamy, very good tasting um, raw milk with a few specks of black pigments in there. And it's your guess what those are, right? So now I'm sure that when they make commercially available raw milk here in the United States, that they test the milk, that they're making sure there's no contaminants in there. But I would just be thinking about uh, E. coli all day long if I drank that. So that's just an aside. But back to method in blue. So methylene blue, what we have to understand, it's a hormetic drug. It's a hormetic medication or hormetic supplement, whatever you want to call it. Now, that means that at an appropriate dose or at a, at a lower dose, it's actually very supportive of your mitochondria. And it does absolutely support the um, electron transport chain, helping your um, mitochondria to make more ATP. And this is also in healthy cells. At the same time, it decreases um, radical oxygen species. So it breaks down this waste that's produced in energy production. So it's making the, cell, the cells healthier. It helps with energy production, and it's actually a net benefit. And since it crosses the blood-brain barrier, a lot of these benefits are felt in your brain. So it helps with memory concentration, all these things, at the appropriate dose. Now, at a dose that's too high, it behaves in the opposite way. 